hi students hope you are doing good and i understand that uh, you are enjoying my previous videos hope you are getting some knowledge out of it hope you have understood some of the problems what i have solved completely i can't say at least we have i have tried to solve some problems of in dfa conversion from nfa to dfa epsilon nfa to dfa i assume that those videos are pretty much helpful for you this session let's move on further to understand something related to regular expression this session mainly focuses on definition of regular expression how to write regular expression if possible uh, we will try writing one or two regular expression i don't want to make a lengthy video so it will be not more than 30 minutes let's have uh, some discussion on this the moment i say regular expression we uh, i say it comes with respect to regular language so this also is clear with many things earlier itself so as we have understood regular language is an entity which comes with regular grammar so there is no uh, that such big definition to understand and all these things anyhow that would be discussed when we discuss about uh, chomsky hierarchy of grammar at this moment i would say the language accepted by a finite automata is said to be a regular language so let's only understand about this a language which is accepted by a finite automata that means whatever problems we would have solved using dfa or nfa those problems are or those problems can be tagged as regular language since we say always language has some conditions if you can able to recall the definition of language you can able to understand that now keeping this in mind let's understand what is regular expression regular expression is it is a algebraic notation algebraic notation of a regular language very simple that means i need to represent the language in some format we have to give some notations for some symbols there so those things are said to be are the notations what we use is said to be a regular expression anyhow since we say everything to be defined as a formal definition or something like that and already we have understood we need to have a formal definition so let's have formal definition even for regular expression also it would go like this so there are two things to be understood with respect to formal definition of uh, a regular expression one is on basis part another is of induction part i think the induction by proof or proof by induction is again known to most of us when you study mathematical proof or when you study discrete mathematics we'll be able to understand all these things so keeping those information in mind in mind we try to define something out of it here now how do i specific specify that is the question anyhow we'll understand the definition of regular expression under uh, basis and induction part let's start uh, with that definitions under basis part we try to define some symbols which are relevant to regular expression first symbol is epsilon or even before we can even define the symbol as null so first symbol is null first symbol is null where we say null is a regular expression with the language with the language that defines as null that means whenever there is no transition from one state to another state we would define it as null so this also can be defined uh, 
like this you know anyhow we can say uh, null is this so we say l of null l of null will be equal to null itself so now null is fine moving on we define what is called as epsilon the as we have understood epsilon and null there is a difference null when there is no transition epsilon there is a transition but there is no input symbol so we define it as l of epsilon l of epsilon so it is epsilon that means we specify we say there is a string without zero with zero input symbol that means epsilon can be indicated when there are no symbols then we go for a symbol a we have taken it we have taken this as a symbolic then we say l of a that is when you have the language a that would accept the symbol a similarly if it is b it accepts b if it is c it would accept c or 0 1 it would accept uh, 0 1 something like that so i can define as specified for epsilon also so l of epsilon would be epsilon so let's start understanding moving on with that part what is the definition of regular expression with respect to induction so we have specified something in basis part we just try to action with respect to induction part so with respect to induction part induction part let's say there are two regular expressions accepting the symbol or denoting the symbol as e and f so let's say e and f are two regular expressions where e may accept some symbols uh, with the language or alphabet a b or f may accept alphabet a b that again can change now we define three symbols for this one is plus one is star and the other would be dot and other would be parenthesis we have to define or we need to understand what these symbols and define with respect to regular expression okay say if the symbol is plus we say if if e plus f is a regular expression or we define like this l of e plus f will be equal to l of e union l of f understand properly plus indicate the union operation or we say or either or with respect to regular expression similarly if it is dot dot indicates if there is an ex there is a regular expression e dot f that is if e dot f is a regular expression then we say l of e dot f is equal to l of e dot f that is l of f which says the language represented with the regular expression e should be followed by f so whenever we consider any symbol a b or b a we say it is a dot f dot indicates first symbol is followed by second symbol then next is star star if that there is an expression say e star e star is a regular expression which is defined as a star closure very much important now already we have we have used some notation similar to this with respect to central concepts of automata theory we have already observed and understood e star e star indicates star closure that is that is defined star closure which would accept the language that is l of e star would accept l of e star that means that would accepts 
zero or more occurrences of e zero or more occurrences of symbol e so this we have discussed or understood when we, when we talk about power of a string the same thing will be accepted here but here we say e is not a single symbol e is a regular expression okay so it might be anything if you may have a b as one symbol or you may have a b c or zero one zero one something like that anyhow we discuss that when you solve the problem last thing is parenthesis anyhow parenthesis has not much uh, explanation to be understood or given parenthesis can be used whenever you want to combine the expressions say for example i define language of e would be l of e with set of parenthesis that means whenever we want to group some symbols then we can um, use parenthesis nothing special in this i mean I, so l of e equals l of e that means whenever we want to group any uh, symbols any regular expressions we try to use this so i define it again regular expression has two things one is in basis part and the induction part in the basis part we talk about uh, null epsilon and symbol a that symbol is again symbolic as i specified it could be a b zero one anything as such at the induction level it, you have four symbols plus dot star and uh, parenthesis plus is used for union symbol it is either or, or dot is followed by a is followed by b and star is star closure which indicates zero or more occurrences of that particular regular expression parenthesis is used to group the regular expression as required now moving on let's start our writing one or two regular expression let's define the question write a regular expression to accept Strings of A's and B's starting with A. B. This is the first regular expression. It says write a regular expression to accept strings of A's and B's starting with A. B. So now observe properly. The question says the strings should be comprising of A's and B's, but the condition is it should have only starting with A. B. So now we need to check what to be used or what symbols to be used and we should work accordingly keeping this in mind we can just say a b is a minimum string clear okay then as per the definition of regular, regular expression we can write a dot b are we worried what is happening after a dot b no so there can be any occurrences of either a or b in any pattern that means any any occurrences star comes into picture you may get either a or b so you can use plus if you want to represent it i just represent it as a plus b star or we can say a plus b raised to the power of star now observe properly this whole thing is one regular expression so we can say it is a or b the whole thing is star that means you can either have zero occurrence of either a or b one occurrence of either a or b two occurrences three occurrences as many occurrences as possible and how, whichever pattern we want so that is not worried about it so it's clear it is a dot b a plus b whole star or you can if you want much more clear you can write even dot here also anyhow writing dot is uh, assume sometime it is there say for example if you write a b a plus b whole star also holds good writing dot and not writing dot is considered to be same we assume there is a dot no need to worry about it and don't read it as a point b no you cannot say 0 0.1 it is the, sorry 0 0.1 0 0.1 something like that don't get into the mathematical notation of dot here so next problem would be somewhat similar we just say a regular expression to accept strings of a's and b's ending with a b when you say ending with a b i think it is pretty much easier to manage uh, this part would go this side because we just say 
a plus b should be common we don't know where it comes so now since we said is ending so a b would come on the other side i think that's clear so a plus b whole star will be something which says any occurrences of either a or b in any pattern but should end with a b same thing we can work with one more thing where that says third problem is on uh, regular expression to accept strings of a's and b's with substring a b with substring a b so observe now substring a b obviously you'll have a b in between mean to say we may get uh, any occurrences on either before or after we are not worried about it so since we have substring here i just say a plus b whole star a b then a plus b whole star I hope this is clear with uh, at this moment similarly we can check with uh, 0 1 or 1 2 or any other such symbols it, writing is easy when you see uh, when you understand those symbols properly plus dot and star keep watching let's solve some more problems on regular expressions in next sessions thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell button thank you